Alright, um, in this video I pretty much want to talk about shortcut truth tables, the shortened kind. Um, as um, we can have long ones or we can have short ones, which save us time and effort. Um, <clears throat> so, I have this argument, and I, and I have videos coming up, which I plan, I'm going to make probably today, which talk about truth tables proving truth functional truth truth functional falsity and truth functional inter, in internacy and then another video talk about truth functional cons consistency and truth functional equivalence and then a final video on truth tables having to do with having to do with proving tr tr truth functional validity and truth functional entailment so but in this video I just kind of want to talk about a shortcut truth table and what that entails and what that is um, and how to and basically how to do one and I'm going to be doing a example of a shortcut truth table here with a argument and we're going to be proving validity really um, <clears throat> so um, pretty much we have here a argument this is a premise this is a premise and this is a this is a conclusion um, and we know that a valid argument it's something that that where it's not it's not, where it's not it's, it's not possible to have true premises and a false conclusion. So it's, so here it's not it's not it's not possible to, for these to have true functional assignments of t. Well, this one has a has a true functional or true value assignment of, of f. So I'll do the um, the uh, long way first. Okay. Um, I'll do the, the regular regular long way first. Now the long way we start with our with our ledger. This is our ledger with our P and Q with given a given our truth value assignment. So first we have T T T F F T and then F F. Okay, now this truth value assignment go, holds true for the whole row. Same with these. And um, I have a double line just so we know that this is a ledger, and this is a dash line here so that we know this is our this is our conclusion, and these two are our our our, our premises. So, what we do in a long truth table, given our truth value assignment, we go t t t t t t t t. Okay. Now it's here when you have to memorize your um, your um, your truth tables for each uh, truth functional c c connectives because our connectives are the horseshoe, the wedge, the ampersand, and the triple tri bar and the tilde. So you have to know by heart what what it means when we have a T and an F in a horseshoe or a T and an F in a ampersand. You have to. You have to know those, otherwise a truth a truth table will not go so smoothly. So we know um, T and T in a horseshoe makes a T, T and T in a horseshoe makes a T, and T and T in a wedge makes a T, and we know that T and T in an ampersand makes a T, T and T in a wedge makes a T. Okay, now Q's are false. T, F, F, T. T, F, T, F. Okay, F and T in a horseshoe makes a T. T and F in a horseshoe makes an F. F and a T in a wedge makes a T. T and F in an ampersand makes an F. T and F in a wedge makes a T. Okay, now here the uh, P's are false. F, T, T, F, F, T, F, T. T and F in a horseshoe makes an F. F, and F then T in a horseshoe makes a T. T and F in a wedge makes a T. F and T in an ampersand makes an F. F and T in a wedge makes a T. Alright, now, the, now they're both F. F, 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 F. F and F in a horseshoe makes a T. F and F in a horseshoe makes a T. T and T in a wedge makes a T. F and an F in a uh, uh, ampersand makes an F. F and F in a wedge makes an F. 
Okay, now we're gonna kill the rows that we no longer need. Kill it, kill it, kill it, because we need th this row. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. We are concerned about this row, this row, and this row, because if we have a T, T, then an F, if we have a row which has T, T, then an F, then we know that the, that the argument is invalid. However, if it, if it, if it isn't possible, given this argument that we have T, T, and F, thus there is no, there's no truth value assignment where it's T, T, then an F, then we know that it's valid. So let's, let's check it. T, 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 F, T, T, F, T, T, F, F. There, so well, thus we, it all, it all checks out. Thus we have a valid argument is valid that's the long way that's the long way long 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 way to do it so now we're going to do it the short way short way time the shortcut tables with a shortcut table you don't put in your ledger first if we're testing for validity we want to see if it's possible for us to have t t then an f. So we go. We have to. We have to. We we, we, we have to figure out. We have, we, we, we have to figure out what our dominant connective is. This one, and of course this one, and this one. So let's go. T. T. F. Now, as you know, when I did the long way, this is a vi a valid argument. However, if this were a inv if this were an invalid argument, this whole thing would 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 work out fine. And so I'm going to show you what what happens when we run into a contradiction. So if this whole thing proves out, if this whole thing works, and we have no issues, then we know that then we know that 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 it is an invalid argument. So <clears throat> what do we know about wedges. If both of the disjuncts are, if, if, if the whole wedge is, is false, then we know that both of the disjuncts are false. So we can put in our ledger now, now that we know it, F and F. So that means everything, every, every letter is an F. And we already have a contradiction, F and F makes T, F and F makes T, T and T makes T. So this, this one checks out. However, and this one also checks out too. But if we have F and an F in a ampersand, we do not have a T. Thus, we have issues. This is this is this is not fault. This is not true, because whenever we have F and an F in a ampersand, we know it's false. So this we this uh, or this is this is the kind of contradiction that we can run into. So since since we have an issue, we know that it's valid. And that is, and that took way less time, way less effort. Okay, that was way easier. <coughs> but sometimes it's hard for people when they're when they're doing this to understand what a shortcut table is or how it or how it works. So this is just a little, I guess, a little brief on how to do a, sh a shortcut table. But if you have a if you have a question or you think I did, I did something wrong or I messed up, I don't think so though because everything everything was pretty solid here. Um, comment below, especially if you have a question, because whenever you whenever you, you comment, I get an email. And if your comment is constructive, then I will always respond. Thank you.